Hello viewers, in this video we will see how to host web pages using ESP8266 development board. First we will write code to connect ESP8266 to a network and then we will go for the web server part. Connecting ESP to a network is very easy. Just include ESP8266 Wi-Fi.h. Then define the SSID and password of network to which you want to connect to. Then put the ESP in station mode. Then connect using Wi-Fi.begin function. After that write code to wait for the connection to be established and then to print the IP address of ESP8266 in the serial monitor. Now this part is finished. After writing the code which connects to the Wi-Fi network, it's time for the web server part. To create a web server, we first need to include ESP8266 web server library. After that, we have to create an object of ESP8266 web server class. For that, write ESP8266 web server space object name, let's say server, and then in bracket 80. Here 80 is the port number in which the server will look for the requests. Now in the setup section, we will write code to serve HTTP requests using server.on function. Let's handle root request first. Root request means when someone makes a request by typing IP address only. So to handle the root request, type server.on start bracket and in double quotes write forward slash comma then name of the function which is to be invoked. Let's say root underscore page. Now whenever the root request is received, the root underscore page function will be called. Let's write another request handler server dot on inside bracket double quotes forward slash data comma data underscore page. This will call data underscore page function whenever IP address slash data is requested. Now let's define the root underscore page and data underscore page function and write the HTTP response in it. HTTP response is sent by using server dot send function. First write the status code. Here it will be 200 because the request is ok. More about status code is given in the video description. Then after comma we have to give the type of data we are sending. It can be text slash plain or text slash html. We are sending html codes so write text slash html. After that we have to write string data that we want to send. String data can be written in double quotes or you can write in a string variable and use the variable here. Let's make a string variable message and use it in the function argument. In this string variable we will put our html code. Let's write some simple html code. Similarly, code for data underscore page. For data underscore page, we will use lengthy HTML codes. Now after that start the server using server.begin function in the setup section and put the server.handle client function in the loop section which will handle client requests. 
Now select the correct board, port and programmer and upload the sketch. After uploading, open the serial monitor to get the IP address of the ESP. Now you can access the web page through another device connected to same network. For example, connect your system to the same network, then use the IP address of the ESP in the web browser to view the web pages. In this way, you can host web pages using ESP8266 development board. If you have any doubts, questions or need any help, then freely ask in the comment section. If you found this video helpful, then please like, share and subscribe this channel. More videos on ESP development board are coming soon, so make sure to subscribe this channel. Thanks for watching.